Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Have you ever realized that you have the power to bless and the power to curse? In fact, every time you open your mouth, you will bless or curse. And I want to encourage you to bless. Today we're in Genesis 48, and it's a story where Jacob blesses the sons of Joseph. So Jacob now is dying. He's really old. He's down in Egypt. And uh, they send word to Joseph, hey, your father is about to die. And Joseph brings his boys, Ephraim and Manasseh, to uh, Jacob. And Jacob wants to bless them. And so uh, uh, Joseph brings his sons. He puts them there before his father. His father is uh, eyesight is failing. And he reaches out to bless them. And he, and he crosses his hands on purpose, and he, and he puts his right hand, the hand of blessing, on the younger boy, Ephraim, and his left hand on the older son, Manasseh. And what's interesting is Joseph tries to get him to switch, but, you know, that's kind of hearkening back to Jacob's story of how he was the younger and he stole the blessings. Now he's doing it kind of uh, purposefully. Anyway, you can read the story if you want to, but uh, what does that have to do with us? You have the power to bless every time you speak. Every single time you open your mouth. And I just want to encourage you, bless. Scripture encourages you to bless. The Apostle Paul actually wrote these words in Romans 12. He said, bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Now, the Apostle James says, with our mouth we praise God, and with it we curse men who are made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. Brothers, this should not be. And then the writer of Proverbs uh, in chapter 12 said, Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. I, I just really want us to be a people of blessing. I want you to be a person of blessing. So can I encourage you to bless those around you? Bless the one you're married to. You know, just let your words be kind, sweet, and encouraging. Bless your children. I don't care if your children are little and sitting on your lap or if they're grown and even parents or grandparents. Bless them. It, it, it's so easy to do and it's so powerful when we convey the good from our hearts to them in a verbal way. Uh, bless your grandchildren. Let them know that you are delighted that God has given them to you and speak into their lives and give them hope and, and wisdom that, you know, that they need. Bless your friends. Even bless strangers that you come across in day-to-day -day life because Look, reckless words really do cut like a sword. But the tongue of the wise brings healing. It brings hope. It brings life. It brings peace. So I want to encourage you to be a person of blessing. Because if you're a person of blessing, guess what's going to happen? You will be blessed. In fact, I hope this blesses you today. God bless and have a great day.